Welcome back. In this demonstration, we're going to learn about color mixing. Um, I designed this color mixing chart for my class because uh, I wanted to make sure that kids could understand how the colors fit on a color wheel and also how kids can mix the secondary and tertiary or intermediate colors from just using the primaries. Okay, so I designed the primary tri triangle in here, the secondary triangles here, and then the color wheel to include all of those colors. This is also part of our Neo-Impressionism color mixing unit. So over on the left hand side, I've made some other boxes that have these varieties of colors, but that I would like to see you mix with uh, Neo-Impressionism style. So this one says clearly, fill out the color wheel below by mixing the colors on your mixing palette. And this side, Neo-Impressionism color says actual mixing versus visual mixing. In the spaces below, use the visual color mixing to create the different colors listed. Okay, so to get started, um, you're going to have a color mixing chart that looks something like this. Please put your name on it. Okay, my name is Mr. Lundgren, so I'm going to put Mr. Lundgren. Okay, uh, you are going to write your grade number and your section. Maybe this is 5C, uh, maybe it's 5B, whatever section you are in. Then for your supplies, you'll need your one personal cup to wash your brushes in, your one cup of clean water that has all the water, clean water in it to share at your table, and the empty cup to dump out your dirty water for your mixing. You'll need your palette with the palette paper on top for mixing, and an extra paper towel to dry your brush off. Okay, to get started, I'm going to model mine um, after the color wheel I just got done showing you. So I am going to start with the warm yellow. Now, in every, um, you know, depending on what kind of color mixing you are doing or what paints you have available at home, you're going to need to, uh, you know, adjust your colors and experiment with what you have. In my class, I have warm yellow and cool yellow, and I have uh, warm red and cool red, and I have warm blue and cool blue. Those are the colors that I have. And to just give you a different um, kind of feel for what they are, um, a warm yellow would have a little bit more to the orange side or to the red side. So there it is on my palette, and I'm going to get some of the warm red, which has, you know, a little bit to the orange side in it as well. If these containers get um, blocked in class here at the top, please bring it to me instead of squeezing so hard you break the plastic tube. Bring it to me and I'll clear it out with my shish kebab skewer. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to take my warm yellow here and get the paint on my brush and actually just paint it right into the warm yellow slot or part of this triangle. So I've made this like other triangle inside the primary triangle and I'd like you to just paint that color in so I know that you understand which one is the warm yellow. Okay, so there is our warm yellow. Then I'm going to take my brush and I have to wash it off. I'm going to take a little bit of my clean water dump it into my little cup. It shouldn't have much more than that. Okay, wash my brush off really well so there's no contamination. Dry my brush on my paper towel, make sure it's clean and dry for the next color. And then I'm gonna take some of my warm red and put it into the warm red section here. Please, as you're painting, try to be neat and tidy so that your mixing looks good. Now, I'm gonna take these two colors and mix them together. When you mix your paint, you should just use a little. You're gonna start with the weaker color, which is yellow, and take just a teeny bit of red and swirl them together on your palette. If you have uh, more than that, it's really difficult to control your color. Now that's pretty orange, I kinda, I do like that orange. So I'm going to put it right here in this section. Okay, this is my secondary color, my orange color that I have made with my red and my warm, my warm red and my warm yellow. Okay, so I'm just gonna carefully paint this in. 
Notice how I'm always pulling my brush, making sure that my painting is neat and tidy. All right, now I've done that part. So I am going to go back a little bit. I'm gonna back pedal. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna take this orange and paint it right in here because this is my secondary orange color as well. Okay, so you're using this color here. Now, if I take this warm orange color here and I take a little bit more yellow and put a little bit more yellow into it, it's going to become yellow orange. Okay, and you should be able to see a little difference between these two colors. You can tell that one's just a little bit more yellow and actually I'll paint, put just a little bit more yellow in there just so it's a little more uh, obvious. Okay, so this would be our tertiary or our intermediate color of yellow orange. All right, now I'm gonna take my brush and just kind of swipe it off here. I'm not actually gonna wash it. I'm gonna grab some more of this red and put it back into this yellow here, or this yellow orange color we just made and bring my red back to a very scarlet color, a very red orange. And I'm gonna paint that in to this slot. This is again my other tertiary or intermediate color here. All right, and you can kind of see how that is more orange. Now in the video, probably the colors will not be very accurate. So in uh, real life in class, you can look at these three different colors. Now, this is where I get to kind of like the interesting section here. Each of these has nice clear defined lines of where you're supposed to put the color, okay? I am going to take now two more colors. I'm going to get my cool yellow And it's cool yellow because it leans more to the greenish side. You can see that cool yellow there. And now I'm gonna put my cool blue, or sorry, cool red over here. And it's cool because it leans more to the blue spectrum, which is cool. All right, and I'm gonna take this warm yellow and my cool yellow and mix them together a little bit. And I'm gonna get kind of an in-between warm, cool mix of yellow. It's not gonna be warm, it's not gonna be cool. I mean, it's gonna lean more to the warm side, I guess. But I want you to paint that into the yellow slot here. Paint all that yellow slot in that one color. And then you can take your paint and actually blend it right into that square. So I'm gonna take a little bit of warm, just pure warm, and kind of put it right on this side and pull it towards the center. And I'm going to wipe my brush off and grab some cool yellow and put it on this side of the rectangle and pull it. Sorry, my hand is having trouble bending that way. This direction. So we've kind of got within this square of yellow, we have the cool yellow, the warm yellow and kind of the yellow in between that's kind of both warm and cool. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing for the red. I'm gonna take my warm red and my cool red and mix them together to get kind of a in-betweenish red and paint the whole shape this like in-between red. Okay, I'm gonna swipe my brush off. I'm gonna take some of our warm red and paint it on the warm side. And take my cool red and paint it on the cool side. And then just kind of blend those in towards the center. Going back, I'm gonna take my warm red and paint it in the warm side of my primary triangle down here. 
and if you paint it thin enough so that you can see the difference, you should be able to see the difference between the warm and the cool red.